That's my opinion. If you don't rock with my opinion, guess what? Go kill yourself. Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. Today we return to the world of Quantum TV, who we haven't dealt with ever since the divorce saga. And he went to TikTok, and he kept his head down for a little while here on YouTube, but unfortunately, he is now back to square one of his god-awful attitude and his narcissism. And just the title of this video alone, which is Entitled Consumers Are The Worst, I just had to make a video on this because I do genuinely believe that Quantum doesn't know how things work or what certain words mean. So let's hop on into this train wreck of a video and break it down for him. Oh, and apologies, but I'm going to be cutting out the parts of the video where he's talking about the TVs and crap because I try to make it a point to not talk about things I don't know anything about, but at the same time, the only thing I care about when it comes to TVs is, does it work? Can I stream videos to it? Can I use it as a computer monitor for my laptop? You know, stuff like that. Anyways, let's begin. You know, I'm not even gonna bother to get out of bed for this video. Why? Is his royal laziness, Quantum TV, too good to get out of bed to make his videos? Because if you get on his TikTok account right now, some of his videos there are him lying in his bed just trash-talking all women. Get off your ass to make videos, Quantum, or get out of the damn bed. The most annoying part of being an honest reviewer. And that right there is why I decided to make this video, folks. Quantum, no the fuck I didn't TV, said that he's an honest reviewer, but if you go back, and watch his Elden Ring review, or the many people who covered him and his other videos, and the fact that not only did Quantum never once play Elden Ring, but he didn't even buy the game, proves that he is anything but honest. The last time Quantum TV was honest, Elton John was married to a woman, and the people who believed all of Quantum's lies to this day without questioning them, are just one step north from a doormat at an abandoned house. Yes, that was an insult to doormats. Seriously, to anyone who knows Quantum TV better than I do, which, apart from Anonymous, I kinda doubt is possible at this point, name me one time during the tickling where Quantum told the truth. Now, after this point, however, I had to chop a bit out because he's talking about TVs and how everyone calls him a shill or a sellout and I don't watch those videos. And he did get a sponsorship from Hisense at one point, but anyways, I don't talk about those reviews here because they're really subjective and I don't know anything about his review videos, so I'm chopping those out. I don't talk about that, which I know nothing about, so... Let's move on to the next point, shall we? Hypothetically speaking, in a world where everything's about getting money and influencer marketing and everybody wants clout, has it ever occurred to you like the one person that doesn't give a shit about any of that and just tells you as it is? Oh, I do hope you're referring to someone else with that comment, Quantum. Remember, folks, Quantum is not honest. He only cares about money, which is why he makes people pay $5 to get what he claims are the best possible settings for your TV, and he has ads running on all of his videos, and he exploits something in Best Buy's TV program, where he'll review the TV for about 12 days and then immediately return it and get his money back. Now, I don't know the exact details, but it's something to that effect. Also, remember how I said in the last clip on Quantum running around crapping on other AV YouTubers for getting sponsorships when he wasn't getting any? Well, he eventually got one from Hisense, and he was so happy to have finally gotten one. So, you want to try that one again, Quantum? You want to try saying that again, where you aren't trying to get clout and money? Now listen, if that offends you, and that truly triggers you to your core, and you fucking hate that, go watch something that makes you feel good, like... How psychotic do you have to be to not like somebody? To sit there and just writhe and froth at the mouth? Like, dude, it's not that serious. It's not that damn deep. They're just TVs, man. Projection is what we just saw right there because any time someone brings up Elden Ring in the slightest, Quantum TV is the one seething with rage and foaming at the mouth, just... And, and then he acts like he's completely sane. But then when you learn how to read the 
body language, the language of a person's face that that gives off, then you can tell that Quantum is unhinged and foaming at the mouth when he forgets to take his two tablets of copium, his tablespoon of cesium, and his suppository for maldium. Please, for the love of God, tell me I'm not the only one who notices this. Like, if you like a different brand, buy that. But I'm going to tell you right now, you fucked up. And I'm going to tell you in all the ways you fucked up. And I think that's where you get mad. Because, you see, now you have to sit with the reality of everything I'm telling you. Sony's motion processing is shit. I can show countless videos of all the artifacts that break down. So then why don't you show evidence of this in this video, Quantum? Why didn't you show evidence of what you were saying when you were reviewing Elden Ring? I mean, aside from the fact that you never bought it or played it. If you had, then guess what? Most people would have left you alone. You would have walked off into the sunset, and nobody would have said anything more about you. But you just had to double down on a really bad take, just like you're doing here. And all the issues that I point out, and see, like, I'm different from other people. I don't just get up there and tell you, Oh, Sony's the best. They're amazing. They have awesome color reproduction. I don't just tell you they have awesome color reproduction. I fucking show you. I show you a side-by-side -side of what they look like against other TV manufacturers and TV brands. And there's there's no, like, claim that I make that you can't look at and be like, Okay, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't see that. that. That's not... No, you see it, right? You see good motion. You see good clarity. And if it bothers you to see other TVs winning at something... I kind of would question your sanity. Sorry to interrupt Quantum in the middle of his little spiel there, but he is either a vampire or he has not looked into a mirror because he is the only one who I've seen on YouTube who is insane, apart from Harmon Smith, The Amazing Lucas, and Canadian Gamer. Seriously, this guy, and I hate to bring this up in a video like this, but Quantum TV, if you will all recall, abused his wife, and when she finally had enough and she divorced him, he acted like he was the victim and claiming that he loved her and that she was the abuser. Does that sound like something a sane person would say? Of course it doesn't, especially not when all the evidence points to Quantum being the abuser. Oh, and he also called up the act man's mama and threatened mischief. And when the act man told YouTube to remove Quantum from the platform, they acted like Quantum was the victim. Remind me again, folks, who is the one whose sanity needs to be questioned again? Exactly. I think we all know the answer to that one. Done this Because aren't you a consumer? Isn't it like the goal of every consumer, right, to try to buy the best for their money? Like... What fucking weak society have we created as people to where we're looking at corporations and protecting them and we're saying, oh my God, like, I just can't fathom another brand beating you. What the hell is that? Like, okay, you're all going to hate me for this one, but I do actually agree with Quantum TV on this point here because we can look at people like the ones I named in the last clip, you know, Harmon Smith, The Amazing Lucas, and The Canadian Gamer. They're the kinds of people who defend big corporations like Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft like their lives depend on it, because unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that one, other than they're obsessed. But if you have an answer better than mine, please leave it in the comments below and help me figure that one out. Please? If you've got, like, soft little feelings and your little tenderness gets to you and you can't handle being told, like, hey, a product's gonna suck or I think it's trash, understand this, that's my opinion. If you don't rock with my opinion, guess what? Go kill yourself. You're looking for an echo chamber that validates what you think up here. I don't validate your feelings or opinions. I give you facts, man. And that's why so many rock with me. Irony and projection in just one clip. My God. And I thought Harmon Smith was ironic and loved to project. Nope. Quantum TV beats Harmon Smith out in that rather handily. Nah, Quantum. The only person I can see around here who wants to be locked in an echo chamber to make himself feel good is you, you lying asshole. Honest to God, tell me about his projection. He blocks all comments that criticize him or question him, and he basically comes off as a cult leader in a similar manner to DSP. Also, Quantum, the people who you claim run with you have all left you by now. The only reason your subscriber count is as high as it is 
is because you bought views and subscribers, which, by the way, goes against YouTube's community guidelines and TOS, and I have proof of you buying views and subscribers through your ex-wife because of it. I don't care one way or another about these brands. I'm not Team Sony, LG, or Samsung, or anybody. I'm not on payroll. Nobody's paying me shit, okay? At the end of the day, you are going to get the most honest, transparent information when you rock with me. One. No, we are not getting the most honest information when we rock with you. And if you want proof of that, go to Anonymous AV Advice over on Discord. Two. You have gotten sponsorships in the past, so that claim you just made has just been thrown clean out the window. Three. You're still running ads on your videos and getting $5 a month from ads or people you're scheming out of money. So please tell me you have at least something in this last clip that isn't one, another one of your brain dead takes or at least it has a point I can either debunk or agree with. Please, I'm begging you. Anything is better than nothing from you at this point. Other guys can do whatever they want to do. In my earlier days in YouTube, I used to try to show you, no, they're actually lying. Now it's to the point where I understand if I do that, there'll be people that are fans of them that'll just come and attack you. Frankly, I don't give a shit anymore. If you want to watch somebody that's blatantly wrong, go watch somebody that's blatantly wrong and has no idea what the fuck they're talking about. That's your business. And of course, the last clip would be more projection and narcissism from Quantum. And to Quantum, I've said it before, I'll say it again, and I will say this until the day I die. But if you don't own a mirror, you seriously need to go and buy one and then look into it because you need a crap ton of self-reflection. I swear. Look, I know I cover Harmon Smith way more than I do anyone else, but when Harmon Smith is wrong, at least he's somewhat entertaining about it. With him, I feel I can make jokes because, you know, they're easy to make with him. I mean, I tried to do it with Quantum as well, but it's a lot harder because of Quantum's narcissism and inability to admit when he's wrong. Anyways, that's the end of this video. It was very painful to watch and then to make this video, but that's why I make these videos. So you can watch those videos that I cover. You don't have to put up with ads on my videos just yet, and you don't have to absorb an ungodly amount of sodium chloride and risk your health. Anyways, that's it for this video. Now on to making an Acer Thorn intro. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now! Ooh.